Hey guys, the car scene here coming at you with another video. Today we're going to be checking out this 2021 Jeep Grand Cherokee L. This one just came in on Friday. This one's about a middle of the road one. This one's not the fanciest. Uh, they top out at around $78,000. Um, this one is about $55,000, middle of the road. Still has leather. This one's got a V6. They do come available with a 5.7 liter Hemi. And like I said, this one's got a 3.6 liter Pentastar. Huge thanks to Big O Dodge here in Greenville, South Carolina. If you want to pick up a new Dodge Jeep or Ram and you're in the upstate, Big O Dodge has people here to help. Uh, they're awesome people. They've got the big flag out by Lawrence Road, Motor Mile. And if you do decide to buy a car from them based on this video, let them know. Uh, that's one big thing in the car viewing industry that people don't pay attention to is that, hey, you know, uh, you need to uh, l let them know that the video inspired you. So, like I said, I'm going to be giving you a quick walk around, showing you guys around this. Looking at the sticker, um, 3.6 liter Pentastar, four wheel drive, eight speed automatic. This one's priced at $55,265. Base price before options on this one is actually, um, let's see, $45,995. Uh, it's got a ton of options on it. It's also got a hundred or $1,695 destination fee, and it's rated at 25 highway, 18 city for a 21 combined. And this is a big three-row SUV, so that's not bad at all. Um, this is a brand new vehicle for Jeep um, and for FCA. Uh, it's actually on a modified slash uh, transformed version of the Dodge Durango chassis being a little bit longer. Um, and it also uses a lot of architecture from the outgoing Grand Cherokee. But like I said, this one's the L, so that's the difference. We've got this one in white here, these big, nice wheels. And this one's a limited. And there's our L badge. So yeah, starting at the back, uh, let me show you guys the keys. Now this one's not gonna have an impressive uh, exhaust note because it's a V6, but you know, we'll, we'll give it what it's got. This one does have twin pipe exhaust, full size spare, another pipe on the, ex on the side. Pull this panel out and you're gonna have your uh, uh, <laughs> tow hitch. This one I believe is rated to tow 5,400 pounds. The larger V8 model is going to be able to tow 7,800. This is interesting. All right. Um, you can hold the set the height here on the left hand side if you've got a smaller garage than normal. Um, also got a nice little area here for under the floor storage. It's pretty common with a unibody design. A little area over here, 12 volt. I'll let you check out our rear seat area here. So you can see we do have leather all the way back here in the back, as well as some cup holders, USB and air vent, which is awesome. Really makes your rear seat comf passengers comfortable, which isn't very common on a lot of these. So to shut this, I'm just gonna push it. It should shut, there we go. All right. Heading into the second row seats. Let's check these out. Now this does have passive entry, so having the key in my hand should unlock. Maybe it's only on the front doors. That's fine. We've got the keys here. All right. Looking at the door panel, you can see we've got some nice soft touch almond leather all the way around your arm. Anywhere that you'd be touching, it's nice and soft. This faux wood um, really brings this interior up a notch. Do have a little bit of hard plastic, but it blends in well with the leather. Um, and honestly, you're really not going to be touching that area a whole lot. And it makes it a lot easier to clean. Having these sunshades, by the way, is a lifesaver if you are if you have kids or even older people in the back. They hate the sun in their eyes, and so that stops that from happening. Uh, door locks in the rear. This is something I'm seeing on not a lot of newer cars is actual door lock buttons in the rear. It's not very common, but it's starting to be pretty, pretty close to normal. Um, power windows in the rear, obviously, $55,000. You better have power windows in the rear. Um, we're going to pull this handle, and you see we've got our tip and slide seats. This is actually something I believe came out of the Pathfinder years and years ago as an exclusive feature. So let's climb into the back row here. You can see our floor is a little close to the seat bottom, but <laughs> quite a spacious interior, 5'8". Uh, I'm not huge, um, but you know, mo most kids, uh, a lot of people would be happy back here. Um, seats, there's two of them. Um, you've actually got little pockets on each side, just like this, as well as hooks. Um, cup holder on each side, USB-C and 2.0 on each side. 
with an air vent. So in this window, it's actually nice and big and square. So you've got a lot of view. Um, something that's interesting and different in here is gonna be this camera right here. Um, this gives you the opportunity to watch your children be in the rear seat. So let's step out into the second row. Pretty easy entry, honestly. That was really enjoyable to get in and out of. So with this seat back, um, farther than I would normally sit, and this seat all the way forward, let's check out the room. Because this is where you're actually giving your third row passengers some room. So my knees have plenty of room. Uh, honestly, the only area that's a little weird is my feet because they're going underneath the front seats, but if we slide the seat back as far as it goes, it becomes a lot more comfortable. So looking around back here, we've actually got a vent over here. This is something I think they probably pulled out of the town and country. Um, looking in the rear, we have our own climate. So this is tri-zone climate. Um, two, two USB 2.0s, two USB-Cs, two cup holders, a little phone slot, and a 110 house plug two air vents with sliding nozzles for each, and heated seats back here. This one also does feature the panoramic moonroof, which is really nice. It's closed right now because we're in South Carolina and, and it's July. <laughs> um, and yeah, so this this is a win, honestly, for a back seat. And I like that it comes with captain's chairs um, because you actually have a pass-through, which is really nice um, if you've ever had kids. Uh, putting them into the rear seat with through the pass-through, just letting them climb back there is a lot easier. Um, so let me give you this shot of the front. This one being a limited, it's going to have heated and cooled seats, all the fix-ins, digital displays everywhere. It's quite magnificent in here for an interior. All right, let's head up front and I'll give you guys the sneak peek on that. All right, front door panel, very similar to the rear door panel. Um, Nice soft touch leather everywhere that your arm's going to touch it. Hard plastic down below with storage, which is really nice. Um, power windows, power locks, window lockouts, mirror adjustments. This one has memory seats with that faux wood along the top. A little bit of soft touch plastic there. All right, let's climb inside. I'm looking at our dash panel. You can see we've got our electronic parking brake right here on the left-hand side. Hood latch here, which we'll open in a minute. Our light adjustments here. Uh, interior lighting adjustments there. And uh, let me give you a shot of these seats, because these are some really beautiful seats. Very soft, very breathable, very good looking, not too warm. So yeah, let's get her started up. Um, so you can see we've got a bunch of things going on here. Jeep just came on in the middle screen. Um, we're going to hit the brake and push to start. There it is. Alpine since 1941. And Grand Cherokee comes from along the middle. I feel like I said, this one has a 3.6 liter Pentastar V6. Uh, looking, first we'll go left to right. I told you about the stuff over here, um, but we will continue on with the steering wheel. All of our adjustments for our center screen are gonna be in here. Um, wow, there's a lot of adjustment in this screen. Okay, so you can switch it over to kilometers an hour, miles per hour. That's a really easy adjustment, okay. Adaptive cruise control, you can make it smaller. Speedometer, so there's driver assistant and speedometer, it looks like. We've also got tire pressure, trips, terrain, wow, terrain status, that's really nice. Uh, Series XM is on there, no stored messages, screen setup, driver assistance. So, okay, heating and cooling. Um, there's our average fuel economy. Wow, there's a lot of information in the center display. So yeah, literally any information you want out of this thing, I think you can get it. Um, oh my gosh, wow, okay. Let's, let's see if we can get out of that. Uh, on the right-hand side is where our adaptive cruise is going to be. Uh, our follow distance, uh, normal cruise control, all of that is going to be on the right-hand side of the steering wheel. Looking at our center display, this is the new Uconnect. Um, it's a lot better, a lot faster, a lot cleaner. Um, so under home, uh, we've got our Series XM on the left, nav on the right. Under media, this is where you're going to pick out your satellite radio um, or whatever you want to listen to. Under comfort is going to be our climate controls, but you also have mechanical climate con controls right underneath. So we'll get, can we run heated and cooled at the same? Okay, so we can't run heated and cooled seats in this one at the same time. Um, nav, it's going to be a full nav system on this bad boy. Under phone, it's got uh, Apple CarPlay, Android Auto. Under vehicle, got all of our... Okay, so here's our fam cam. This is going to show us our third row seats. These are our second row seats looking over the shoulders. 
and then the seat right behind me, if this were an infant seat, I could see directly into the infant seat. So that's really nice um, for families, especially if you're like, you know, a mom by yourself. Third row head headrest fold, I'm gonna click this, boom, and they're down. Surround camera, this is gonna be our 360 camera. Um, this is a back and rear view, front view. You've got a clean camera option for the front and then forward facing camera. You can see we've even got tire trajectory, which is really nice. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Let's check out surround view one more time. So here's surround view. We've got a 360 view over here on the left. Rear view, front view, tight front view, and then overall rear view. So you can actually zoom on this. Oh, okay, so if you have a trailer hitch, you can see where it's at. That's awesome. So get the X, X. All right, back to home. Um, let's see what the sound system sounds like in here. That's a... Come on, give me the hits. Give me those Series XM hits. Okay, so hitting the power button will actually turn off the screen. Go. Oh yeah, that's the good stuff right there. Okay, so back to the rest of this vehicle. Sorry to go so much into Uconnect, but that's what that's what's new. Um, under our drive selectors, we've got snow, and I'll show you the center console. Snow, auto, sport, and sand and mud at the very top. <laughs> and we do have a rotary dial. This is pretty, uh, you know, regular for a Ram Jeep Dodge product. And then in the center or glove box, we've got a ton of room. And uh, let's open up and see how big this panoramic sunroof is, shall we? So I'll let you guys see that. It's probably going to have a stop point. Yep, so there's our stop point for the front. And there it is. So it goes just to the back of the second row, not over the third, but the third row is still getting some of that sunlight, which is really nice. So we'll close that back up for the dealership. And then, speaking of center console, I'll show you guys that here in just a second. There we go. So under our center console here, it's leather trimmed. Um, ton of storage in here. Really put some stuff in there. Not as big as like a Tahoe or a big SUV, but it's actually dual stage, so you've got two of them. Um, let me turn this off. So yeah, um, that's the interior. Like I said, 12 volt, two USBs. Or actually four total because you've got USB-C and USB 2.0. You've also got an aux port um, if you were to old school aux. So let's check out, let's do a final walk around and check out the engine. I'll actually turn it off so we don't have to listen to it. There we go. Check rear seats is the alert that we get on vehicles now. So yeah, under the hood of this standard is going to be the 3.6 liter Pentastar like we talked about. It comes in almost every FCA Mopar product these days. Um, yeah. So cooling over here, air filter over here, oil fill here, dipstick there. Um, I actually don't see a transmission dipstick on this one, but that's okay because we've got the 8-speed ZF behind it. It's a pretty trustworthy transmission for the most part. Yeah, got a big meaty starter down there, actually. Um, let's see if I can get the lighting just right so you can see it. If you can see this big metal tube right there, that's our starter and it's huge. So yeah. If you guys want to support the channel, like I said, buy a vehicle from Big O Dodge or one of the other dealerships that we use and let them know that the car scene sent you. I appreciate you guys watching. If you guys do want to show us some more love, subscribe to the channel. Comment on our videos. Let us know what you think. Let us know what we can do better. Let us know if you're seeing some quality increase. I'm trying to make these better, these videos better and better for you guys. But yeah. Like I said, that's the 2022 Jeep Grand Cherokee L. Quick review. Thanks guys for watching. We'll see you next time.